Today I'm going to be showing you guys five different ways on how to lace the Adidas Superstar, also known as the Shell Toe. So starting with style number one, we're going to go with the dead stock look, and that is exactly how it comes fresh out the box. When you open them up and they take them out, typically there might be a little hang tag or something, but you're going to see the shoe and it's going to look just like this. So all you're going to mainly need to do is unlace this area right here and loosen it up a little bit just so your foot can get inside. That way it doesn't look like the shoe has a chokehold on your foot. And then from there, you're going to simply just put the shoes on and then tie this lace back we're gonna give it the dead stock knot again tuck it right behind the tongue and then we're gonna be able to rock the shoe just like this as is So after seeing that on foot look, let me know what you guys think about that style down below in the comment section. Now me personally, it's not really my forte, but I do see a lot of people rocking it, so I had to make sure we mentioned it. Now let's take it to style number two, and that is the bow tie. So for this one in particular, what we're gonna need to do is unlace the shoe from the dead stock style, and you can either do one or two things. You can have either the hole open right here on the top, or you can lace it all the way up to the top, starting from here and then making sure that matches so you want the outside to overlap so that way everything is still in unison and then you have some extra string here and you're going to tie a bow tie now what's going to happen is this bow tie is going to be a little small but it's going to be a little bit more of a snug fit putting the shoe together a little bit more or you can do it the other way and unlace it here and have the bow tie there and then have more of a loose fit so we're going to loosen up the front kind of just pull on both sides right here like this and then we'll be able to tie that same bow tie here and then put the shoe on. So I'm gonna put this on both ways so you guys can see the difference between the two. And then maybe if you guys like it, you guys can consider trying it as well. And here's that look. A Little bit more of a looser fit right there, a little bit more casual. Some people like it different ways. I'm interested to see what you guys think, so let's go ahead and try these on foot. So after seeing those two styles, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section, whether you like it with the single hole or all the way laced up to the top. Now, I do actually wear it like this sometimes, but my typical go-to, the loose fit. So what we're gonna do in this situation right here, coming from the dead stock style, we're gonna unlace the shoe, take that knot out, and then we're gonna lace it up to the top and complete that top hole. We're gonna leave maybe about two to three inches around on the sides, and then the same thing right here, pull it out, have it kind of hanging down, maybe just close to the midsole. You want the lace to kind of hang down to that area right there. And then you're gonna have a lot of extra slack right here. So what you're gonna wanna do is pull on the next row down and then do the same thing here pull the next row down pull it out with your thumb next row down and just kind of loosen up the shoe a little bit and always make sure you loosen the front row as well because this line can be a little tight and then it looks a little drunk if you got the shoe on it's only loose in certain parts so now you want to take your thumb and then three fingers like this and just kind of tug a little bit and you see how it's kind of evenly dispersing the laces throughout the shoe so now pull the tongue up you look at it like this and you see you got that loose fit now me i wear a lot of my shoes this way so we definitely got to show you this on foot real quick So after seeing that style, let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Again, this is my personal favorite, but I know there's another one that a lot of people like. Let's go ahead and show that one next. And that is the inside out look. So what does that mean? Typically the laces come in and they go from here and then they go out. I always call it inside out, but I guess it's like outside in. So instead of coming underneath, we're gonna go over the top this time, and then we're gonna pull through. And we're gonna do that throughout the entire shoe. And this is gonna give the shoe a whole different look. I know a lot of people like to get their shoes and lace them this way. They never typically come this way with the dead stock style, but you gotta be aware of it and then do it yourself each and every time, which causes me to not lace my shoes that way because I just be lazy. I like to throw the shoes on. So we're gonna go over the top, and then into the shoe here same thing there and then another thing right here you have this little hole that you can actually run the laces through as well some people like to run it through it depending on the model of the sneaker i would say before this adidas superstar i think you definitely should run it through this hole right here in the middle of the tongue just because there's no strap that's actually holding the tongue down and it can easily flap and move around so you want to make sure that that stays sturdy throughout the time and then keep it you know consistent going from the outside in 
Then we're gonna run that all the way to the top so you guys can see what the final result looks like. And typically what I see people do on this, you can do it both ways. You can wear it either with the laces hanging on the side or you can do a bow tie. So the bow tie actually comes from the inside out right here. We'll run a bow tie like this. Bang. So now you got a bow tie that's kind of sitting like that and the shoe looks like this from the front side. And then also the other style, just real quick for you guys, so you guys know this one's coming as well. We're gonna run it all the way to the top and leave it loose, untied, hang it out just a little bit. And then we're gonna loosen up the laces and give you guys that same type of chill vibe with that outside in, inside out look, whatever you'd like to call it. So now you're gonna have something that's a lot more similar to this style right here. Now this is the way I like to rock it, but again, with the bow tie, it looks really good as well. So let's go ahead and check out the on-foots and let's see what you guys think. Now that you guys seen what that looks like, let me know down below in the comment section. And now it's time to get into my favorite style, the bars. So first thing we're gonna need to do is make sure the shoe is entirely unlaced. So let's go ahead and get this thing naked real quick. All right, so as you guys can see, there are no laces inside the shoe. We got the laces right here. And what we're gonna do is put the shoe lace from the outside on both sides back in, like your classic, typical fashion. You always see that but we're gonna be running the bar. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this because some people get a little confused. I'll make sure I take my time. We wanna make sure that we get the laces even. I guess technically we don't need to worry about it because it's the bar style, but I always like to have my laces even. All right, so what you wanna do? Right side of the foot here, left side of the foot here. We're gonna skip a hole every time we go up. So starting with the right side, we're gonna start with the first hole here, boom. So you see how we went inside here and then we pulled it out. And then we're gonna run that directly across to the second hole. Boom. Make sure the lace is flat. Now, this is in the second hole, so we're gonna have to take this one to the fourth hole. So we're gonna go skip the third hole, go to the fourth hole. Boom, right here. Okay, now back to the lace that's at the bottom on the left side here. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna run that underneath, and we're gonna run this one now to the third hole because we have to go opposites on here. So it's like evens up and then odds on this side. So we'll go third hole here, then we're gonna go directly across. And then we're gonna take the sixth hole right here, run this directly across. Boom. And then this one's gonna run across at the top here. Okay, so now you have your bar style. So what you're gonna do with these laces is just tuck them inside. It's gonna be tucked. You can, you can put a knot on it as well if you want to, but this is kind of gonna be inside your foot. Um, as you're rocking it, but this is gonna be your bar style. This is classic. This is OG vibes right here. Take a look at it real quick. This is another great vibe right here. Now, I'm excited to check this out. I haven't done this in a long time since I was young, so let's go ahead and try the on foots and see what you guys think. So after seeing all those different styles, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. I hope this video was helpful. And if you guys didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is The DNA Show. Hey! So with that being said, hit that subscribe button. We got plenty more tutorials linked after this video and I'll see you guys in another one. I would never let you down. So before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. It's in my DNA, hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware of. I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the DNA